now let's move to the next one which is the most important thing actually this is the one the most important and most useful okay so simple simple requirements we do okay try to understand it and the main thing is here you need to focus on syntax okay i will give some scenarios okay some five scenarios right so first scenario is okay get all act two tickets we written it already okay now get the incident with the sys id okay equal to this is one of the very important scenario that i normally ask to write it in an interview i'll just give the same kind of thing okay and update it consideration understood the second requirement ma yes sir everyone first time learners you are understanding these things only one or two people are acknowledging everyone understanding ma please acknowledge yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir now third thing okay get all the incidents okay uh, whose short description starts with okay escape fx and do something do something anyway we know it okay get all the incidents okay uh, whose short description contains okay application and assign the incident to software group time pass okay and you can say uh, get all active incidents okay so now let's at least practice with them okay and finally i have one more requirement that also i will tell okay so one second one okay two and 3 ah. sorry okay now you see what we are going to do is okay we are going to use add query here for this all okay so now this third require the next requirement is get the below incidents and update the description or something you all understood these requirements ma Yes. 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 Now, yes, sir. we have five requirements. Okay. How we do all these five requirements is very careful. You see, we use add query only for all of the five. Okay. But how it changes? How we make 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 use of add query? Just observe it. Okay. If you observe these five, you will get everything. Okay. First. Okay. Gr dot add query. of name value okay first requirement active fields correct what is the field name active what is the value true true this is how you write okay gr active query add query so field name and field value got it ma yes 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 sir, yes, sir. So now just execute it and then see how much how much we are getting it and either it is correct or not just execute it. Okay. So now you go here. How many active tickets are there? One eight five zero. Correct. Now execute it. Are we doing any update? No. Okay. So one eight five zero is that correct? Ma. So add query to apply a field and field value. You are getting it now. Yes. Mm, yes, sir. Okay. So active equal to true is our requirement. But let's say category equal to software. Here you can give category value equal to software. That also you can execute. 
Yes, sir. Everyone yes, correct? Sir. Yes. So field name, field value. Okay, this is how it works, right? So I will copy this one first. Okay, or I'll just keep it like this. Okay, first requirement, right? Now second requirement, very carefully see. Okay, get the incident with the CCID, this one. You, you already got the CCID. They given you CCID. Okay, and update the short description with something or work notes with something. Now, with the R query, how I can write now? Tell me if you understood the first requirement. CCID, CCID in and this. GR add query, what I need to write here? CS underscore ID. In the code, the ID should be fixed. Correct? Simple? Yes. yes. Everyone, yes? Yes or no? So is that the same CCID record that we picked up from? Correct, Nama, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, second requirement is also clear. How you pass the CCID value? CCID, CCID is actually a field and the respective value. The value, you already have it. So, you just passed it. Second requirement is clear? Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, now, go to the third requirement. Please keep it on mute. Now. Okay. Please keep it on mute. Get all the incidents whose short description starts with. Okay. Now here actually our challenge will start. Right. So short description is a field. Starts with SKFX. SKFX is a word. Okay. Now you do like this. Okay. So GR. Okay. GR dot. Sorry. GR dot add query of field name short description. Okay, so you normally give a value like this, okay, skfx. So uh, skfx, if you give, now what filter it applies? Equal to, correct? Short description equal to skfx. So it is something like this. You go here and then you are applying a filter like this. Okay, very, very short description. Okay, so it is something like this. You go and then skfx if you just give like this now nah, it will take the okay condition as equal to skfx equal to or starts with this is actually starts with equal to means this one exact value exact value okay so the line that i written there is exactly like this okay this line is equal to this 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 filter correct Yes, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm. But uh, what is our requirement? Starts with. Starts with. Okay. So, Sorry. No, no. Start with. Okay. Contents is the next one. Okay. Starts with. Nah, so, it is something like this. Okay. It is something like this. Starts with. But how I can apply that filter here? Okay. So, add query will support operators. Operators. Okay. When you are writing act to equal to two, CCID equal to this one, short description equal to this one, there is something where you can still keep like this. Equal to operator. Okay, but generally for equal to, no need to specifically mention it. Okay, but for starts with, there is an operator that is starts with. How I will know, sir? Go to the documentation. Now read about add query. So these are for numbers. These are for string. For string equal to you just see not equal to you can use. Okay. Active operator not equal to true. That means false. Okay. Starts with ends with contains. So this one I am using it. Understood my everyone? So same same we have in filters as well, no? Like in the list we go, so there as well in filters these values we have, no? Yes, now understood what value I, I why, why I kept this particular one, ma? Everyone? Yes? Yes, sir. Right. It should be start yes. with SK fact and uh, filter. Short description 
starts with SKFX. This is operator. This is field. This is value. Correct, na, sir? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, if you execute, na, so let's see how many we will get it. 109. Is that correct number? Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. So, how I use the operator call starts with here, ma? Like this. Okay. Now, go to the next requirement. Okay. So, now next requirement is telling what? Get all active incidents whose short description contain application, na? So, here, you copy this. Right? So, here you write the operator contains. Okay. And add gr dot add query. Okay. Of active true. This is there in your requirement. Correct? Am I right? So, see here. Read it. Get all active incidents whose short description contain application. Sorry. Is that correct, ma? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So if you write yes, uh, if you write two add queries now between these two, okay, and will take okay short description contains application and okay act two equal to two. It takes and between. If you put two act add act add queries got it yes no yes sir okay. yes sir okay. yes now, sir now run this one and then see how many we will get it okay so run query so 32 okay now you go here okay now apply the same thing starts with the contains correct so star okay 109 plus true What? what application application contains application sorry, sorry. i need to get rid of this wordings yesterday when i was telling about microsoft to microsoft now i am getting only service now only okay 32 am i right yes okay so now you understood ma, how i used the operator called contains here everyone understood yes yes sir yes okay now finally right very carefully see okay the next one is very important one okay so what is my re next requirement is right i already have three numbers i need to exactly get them and then update them that's it no need to do anything else only these incidents so if we have this okay how you give is okay gr dot add query okay of what field it is number Okay, what operator it is? I n in. Okay, what value it is? Three values separated by comma. Understood, ma? Understood. In operator here. Yes. Yes. Okay, sir. How? Why you took in, sir? How come you got to know about in? Okay, actually. What you can do is, right, you applied the filter now. If you take this filter, encoded query, if you take this encoded query and just observe it, okay, you have, okay, I like it came, huh? very good. Like, why like contents? Okay, so apply a filter like this. Hmm. It came like. Now, if you take this encoded query now, just observe it. The operator that you observe here is that operator coming must starts with the operator short description start with application did you observe it yes sir yes sir okay. so now when i if i give you this kind of thing so i give you these three incidents i will give you like this now i you need to apply a filter and then get them how you can get now you go here number okay so you type number mm -hmm. Okay, you take is one of is one of you like this. Is that correct filters? Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. Run it. 
you got this tree, na? Get the copy and create query. Okay, go and write it here. So number in list. So I got in operator here. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. So the same in we are using here also. Understood, my everyone? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, yes, sir. just on it. Let's see whether we got the exact three or not. Yes, three. Six nine nine one nine six. Hmm, six nine nine one nine six. Exactly same. Now we understood how add query will work now. By the, with these five examples, you all understood how exactly the add query works. Yes, sir. Clear. So you can ask one simple question, na, sir. Why we need to do this much of drama, sir? We can use add and query also, na. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can use, yes, sir. You can use that, or you can use this. That is completely up to you. You can use any function, but you need to execute it. That's it. There is no restriction here. If you are comfortable with the add and query query, you can use it. If you are comfortable with the add query, you can use this. That's it. Got it, my everyone. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. So, sir, uh, by default, if there is a two condition, then you're taking and. Yes. And if you want, uh, there is the or condition. The like short description. No, I will cover that, sir. Let's say we will cover later, sir. Oh, okay. okay. Good. So keep these five lines, okay, and practice it. You should get very confident in this particular ad query part. Okay, it is very much important. If I give you like this, you will you will able to understand and then execute, ma? Will it help? Yes. Or do I need to copy? Yes. No, no, sir. Yes. Sir. No, sir. Fine. So now add query. Now with this, we completed the filters. Okay, in this list of things. Okay, you completed the filters. Add query. Add and query. Query. Okay. Add not null query. Add not null query. And then finally add query. Okay, concept wise we covered five, but what you need exactly is only two: enquire query, add query. And add query should have a lot of confidence to work on all the operators. This is must. Okay, and this one is not required. Okay, just ignore it. But remaining things. Okay, and enquire query as simple as you see. There is no much practice is needed, but still you please practice it and. Try to put this kind of okay uh, style where you will get lot of confident and also your script will looks clean. Everyone clear? Yes, clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now go to the documentation and just to see once. Okay, so here okay we didn't cover few of the operators. Okay, greater than, less than. So let's say I give you one requirement. Okay, you can write the requirement and practice today. Get all the incidents. Get all the incidents. Okay. Get all the active incidents. This can be one of the very important interview question also, or practically, okay, good scenario also. Get all the active incidents who are created, okay, before Jan first, 2024, and close them. Simple. Why? Why we are closing? Okay, it's been almost how many days? Seven months. Sir. If an incident created seven months back, but still it is an active. Why we need to keep it active? Ma? Can we close it? Correct. Yes, sir. No. Understood, ma. This one. Yes, sir. Yes. So, right. So if this is the one, what you do, ma? Okay, maybe you take a filter. Okay, field name add query. Okay, you you take a filter like this. Okay, sys created on created by field created field. Okay, and then you keep it one operator here. Maybe greater than or less than whatever you feel to keep. What makes okay? Then some state. So this is an example. Make sense? 
Yes or no? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. Somewhere here they use this, this particular greater than. Okay. Maybe somewhere you can use less than. Okay. Or somewhere you can use greater than or equal to. Less than or equal to. That term also we can use. Okay. And this is for in operator. Okay. So like that you can try. Our examples plus this example. These six examples are more than enough. To become master in ad query. Got it? Yes. 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 Okay. Good. Now let's move on. Okay. So what is our requirement? Twenty four zero one. Is that kind of correct? Something like this. Okay, nice, right? So what I'll do is, uh, okay, I'll end up here. 